The first week of spring break season is underway along Alabama beaches. Right now, several schools from Ohio, Texas, and Missouri are enjoying the sun and the sand. News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Gulf Shores, and Debbie, spring breakers are going to notice something a little bit different this season. They may be on break, Devon, but these spring breakers, these college students, they're going to be tested this week as the two coastal communities to enforce their initiative to keep the beaches clean, and they may be prepared for or need to get prepared for larger than normal spring break crowds because of what some other beach towns are doing. The beaches are coming alive again. Yeah, it's been awesome so far. Spring break season has arrived. What was the water like? It was cold. <laughs> New rules at other beaches like Panama City and Pensacola Beach has a lot of spring breakers testing the waters on this part of the Gulf Coast. We've been to Panama City, like this, the Marriott College has been there the last couple years, but they banned alcohol on the beaches, so that's why we came out here. Oh, we, everyone's been picking new places. Heard a lot of people were coming here, and Panama City got shut down. Spring breakers may be in for surprise. A lot of what Panama City does not allow today, we haven't allowed in our community ever. This is also the first season for the new Leave Only Footprints initiative aimed at keeping beach gear off the beach overnight. It was enacted by Gulf Shores and Orange Beach along our entire beachfront, and that is items that are brought on the beach, personal items like umbrellas and chairs and beach toys, those kinds of things need to be brought back off the beach every night one hour after sunset. No longer will camps or compounds be allowed to remain overnight. If you don't remove it, you will lose it. I totally understand what they're trying to do with that. We didn't really hear anything about it, but, you know, it's pretty obvious, really. Just don't be, don't be too crazy about it. Pick yourself up. You'll be fine. And in case you were wondering, law enforcement will be increased during the spring break season. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office helping out Gulf Shores and Orange Beach this spring break. Live on the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, News 5. Thanks, Debbie. Okaloosa Sheriff's deputies say they've already made nearly two dozen arrests involving spring breakers. Over the weekend, 21 of 23 arrests made by the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Beach Unit involved underage possession of alcohol. All of the arrests involved suspects between the ages of 18 and 20. 21 of the arrests were made in the Destin area and two others on Okaloosa Island. The Sheriff's Department has a zero-tolerance policy toward underage drinking.